Uh, this is Kenny. So a lot of people in the art world know who Kenny is and Kenny I'd seen sort of across rooms and known about through um, various friends when he was living in London, but I'd never actually met Kenny. And when I came to New York to do meet people, um, uh, and I knew him via Instagram, he's very vocal on Instagram. And so I reached out to him and he's super friendly and he said, yes, come over, come now. And so I was like, jumped in a cab. I can't remember where I was, but um, I was over at his house within 10 minutes and he was just moving into his house in New York. And he was very energetic, very excited to show me his, his house, all his artwork. He's got so many things and so many stories. It's kind of like, you just kind of buckle up and he'll take you around his house. This, the portrait I did of Kenny was of him upstairs in his, his office. And I don't know, there's something about Kenny. He's super, as I said, friendly and smiley and known for wearing his Adidas three stripe, which I've got here and his phone in his hand, which, you know, he spends a lot of time on and coffee too. That's not a Guinness. He doesn't drink anymore like me. And, um, but I think there's a side to Kenny that maybe people may or may not know. I don't really know. Maybe there's another side that I want to capture in him, a sadder, more melancholic Kenny. Uh, a lot of people paint him smiling or having a good time. And he certainly is that, but we're all human. And I'm sure there's this other side. And I just wanted to try and capture that a little bit because yeah, I know that he was going through quite a tough time at that time. So I was just trying to capture a little bit of that with him. But anyway, it's a it's one of my favorite portraits and he's a great person and character and sitter. And so I think that's probably why it's such a great portrait. The people that, are, you know, I think I spent a lot of time on it for that reason. So the Kenny I actually printed on uh, Scagliola, which is a new technique. Well, it's an old technique, but no one's really used it. It's kind of like plasticine where you mix or you dough plaster together and it comes up with this kind of marbling technique, which you then buffer with a wax. And for Kenny, I actually, and then the relief on it is actually just a, uh, a mold. I literally made a plasticine mold that was exactly the same size that we were going to print it onto. And so it's a plaster mold with Scagliola border and then the UV flatbed print went on top of the mold. So it aligns perfectly. So it looks like a kind of painting, like a thick impasto painting.